with uh, Ted Williams, but other great Red Sox players out there that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 24 video. We're on our Blue Jays team to in today's video, guys. And as you guys notice, all of my cards in the pitching rotation, in the batting order, on the bench, you name it, everybody is at level 20 out of 20, which I am very pleased to say is one of my biggest accomplishments on this team. We stand at 115.8 overall. Today, we will be upgrading someone to Black Diamond with the normal Black Diamond change ticket that came from the DICE event that started at the beginning of August. It's actually just about to end. And for me, maybe by the time this video comes out, it will have already ended. But I'm most likely going to take Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to Black Diamond. He is my best card overall in my batting order, has the best train, uh, also might have one of the best skill sets, but I do want to get a Black Diamond uh, skill set or Legend skill set on him eventually. Uh, all my other cards, though, are pretty much the same. Mark Icorn right here, I am currently working on special training, as you guys can see his development there at about level 4 or 5. And then with the skills, Iron Will, Finesse, and Dragon Crusher looking to get those to Diamond. Not sure if that's going to happen in today's video, but we'll see what happens looking at our inventory we have three sick player packs hoping for another blue jay we still have that tony fernandez on my bench so hopefully i can get a great increase sometime from either pick em or from uh the special shop I, i've been hearing that the special shop with the great increase ticket will be coming out in november don't know for sure though again we have a ton of prime player packs but we'll be saving them because comp to us still hasn't allowed us to uh, use all of them at once and i want to do a mega prime player pack opening in the future on a live stream potentially so looking forward to that live season team selected diamond pack not sure who's good on the blue jays we have regular team selected diamonds but let's start off here with silver player packs like we always do working our way from the bottom to the top again we are still looking for prime cards purple glow anything uh, and i'm i'm very confident and very speculative about the prime player pack rates dropping just simply because there are so many more prime players available in other packs and other places like the my free agent market so that's just my assumption though it's not confirmed there's a jordan romano that i could use for upgrades mike clevenger for the padres as well but i'm pretty sure contuous has dropped the rates that's just my assumption i can't say for sure and it just seems very suspicious that I haven't seen a prime card from a player pack and I have probably opened close to a thousand packs across all my teams and I still haven't seen a prime player pack or a prime player out of a premium player pack um, in over a month and it's just like that's never happened in the history of this channel we get back to back not back to back diamonds but we get multiple diamonds here out of 40 so that's nice still no primes though this one is a Diamondbacks Merrill Kelly right there Merrill Kelly this year hasn't been doing so great for the Diamondbacks, but the team as a whole, uh, the Diamondbacks have been doing pretty well. They're actually pretty close to the division lead with the Dodgers. They might be a, several games out, but closer than they have been in past years. That's going to do it for the regular premiums. Let's do the premium vintage player pack. We will be doing sick combos in today's video as well. Not sure how many we have, but looking forward to hopefully getting uh, another Blue Jays signature. Let's do these four team selectors. We still have room. Let's go Blue Jays, of course. No Legends for the Blue Jays in this game. I wonder if they'll ever add Legends uh, for the Blue Jays. Two gold, two silvers right there. Let me know who you guys want to see as Legends added into the game. I personally would like to see... Uh, thinking off the top of my head, I would like to see, see Ted Williams add back into the game, added back into the game. Also... Um, Jimmy, I know Jimmy Fox was already added into the game, but I'm a Red Sox fan, so that's just my bias there with uh, Ted Williams, but other great Red Sox players out there that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. Well, what do you know? We get we get a Diamond Prime out of a player pack, so I need to shut up now. I can't say anything because we just pulled a Diamond Prime out of an Ultimate Player Pack. And if this is a Blue Jay that I need, I will be happy. I don't think I need any Blue Jays Diamond Primes unless it's Marcus Semyon. Semyon is the only one. If this is Marcus Semyon, that would be fantastic. All right. Three, two, one. Opening them all up. Can this be Marcus Semyon? Uh, no, it's Mark Mulder 01 for the Oakland Athletics still, though. I guess I just need to keep talking about it and then Contos will give me a really, really good prime card right there. Not a regular prime. It's even better as a diamond prime Mark Mulder. I'll take that. That's going to be going into either Mentor or it's going to be used for um, a diamond prime combo. But 
Finally, we got a Prime out of a player pack. I can stop talking about it now. Four team selective ultimates. Let's do this. More diamonds. Let's go. Two diamonds out of four. That's awesome. Half and half right there. Uh, let's see if these are anything good for upgrades or ble black diamond. Michael Saunders. I was actually just thinking about this guy earlier today. Got him as a regular card on one of my other teams while I was uh, grinding out my game. But uh, would love to get his SIG. I don't know if he's going to make my bench. 69 base. He's not the greatest card in the world, but he's a one-year card. So if I do get him, I'd be very happy. He's an outfielder too. All right. Diamond player selectives. Two of them. Let's see if we get any Blue Jays or any more Primes. Nolan Arenado, 17, a very great year for him. Uh, other than that, though, nothing too fantastic. There's a M McCutcheon right there. Refreshing. We get a Saucedo. I pulled a Saucedo on my Mariners team in the last video, and it was basically the same overall. I believe the Mariners card was a 58 base. This is a 56 base. You know what? I'm just going to take him for fun. 50 base overall velocity and location is absolutely atrocious, but... I like cool cards like that or funny cards like that. Anyway, Hyunjin Ryu right there for the Blue Jays. I already have him as a full BD and this exact same normal in my lineup, so I won't need him. I'm going to refresh, see if I can get anything better here. Come on, something special. No, but we do get another Blue Jay, Danny Jansen right there. I can use that for BD material actually on the one that I currently have in the lineup. So let's snatch him. That's actually two successful picks from those, which I haven't had a lot of luck on those in the past couple of videos, but good to see that turn around. All right. Let's expand the player reserves or do some special training first, and then we'll come back to these packs. Six team selected diamond player packs here. Let's do them. Uh, a vintage would be great. If I could get a vintage Sean Green, that would be like my dream Blue Jays card at the current moment. Vintage Sean Green. And we don't get any vintages there. We do get quite the good amount of cards, though. Bassett at a 70 base, Bautista at a 71, and then Whit Merrifield, who I have as a SIG already, at a 70 base, the exact same year. Anybody with good skills? Uh, not really, besides the Bautista. Uh, Jansen is also more Black Diamond material, and Richard's there. I think I have this exact same year as Black Diamond with Pitcher's Chemistry, so not a bad haul. Some useful stuff right there. All right, live season, though. I have no idea who is good on the Blue Jays. Let's see who we get. I'm guessing this is going to be a 62 base overall card, though. Let's see if I'm right. We get... Oh, no, we get a really solid card there. Kevin Gossman, 70 base. So I'm happy that we didn't get a 62 base. Uh, he's not having the greatest season by any means, but I'm curious to see how Comptos will finish his overall. We'll keep him until the end of the season. All right, three SIG player packs here, and then we got combos. Can we get lucky again we haven't gotten a team sig we get a diamond let's go we haven't gotten a team sig in quite the amount of videos it's been over a month so let's turn around this luck and let's get a team sig if we dupe we can do a club craft with that t oscar so t oscar i wouldn't be mad at i just probably flip out anyway silver in the middle first off we get a yankee geo urshela 64 base not the greatest base overall yankees card uh third baseman as far as the yankees go i'm pretty sure this is one of the few third base cards that the Yankees have. Yankees teams, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but not a really solid year for Gio Urshela right there. All right, gold on the right side is a, a Cleveland Guardian, Reynaldo Lopez from 2023. He is now a starter, I believe, for the Braves and just having a great season for them. All right, and on the left side, if this is a Blue Jay, I would freak out because I great increases are so rare now. And uh, please just be a Blue Jay. Left side, we get... Oh, San Francisco Giant, Chris Bryant. I know there's a lot of San Fran teams out there, and I do apologize. That is a one-year card for the Giants as well. Chris Bryant, 2021, the year he got traded to them. Um, sorry about that, Giants teams. But let's do sick combos now and see if we can get a Blue Jay. Okay, these are the SIG cards that we have. We have Kerry Wood, Mike Trout, Chris Bryant, Gio Urshela, and Reynaldo Lopez. We're going to do the three golds first, Trout, Urshela, and Lopez. Hopefully, we can get another diamond to do a three-diamond SIG combo. Guarantees a diamond back, but let's do this first one. Blue Jays, please. Three, two, one. Another Oakland Athletic. We got one in the last video. That's a Cole Irvin, 22 for the Athletics, 70 base overall before he was... Uh, signed by the Orioles or traded to the Orioles, I should say. Uh, either one of those, he got to the Orioles either way. But no diamond. Let's do this last one, though. Two diamonds, one gold. 
Let me put the... Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter the order anyway. Wood, Brian, and Irvin. Last combo of the day. Three, two, one. We get a Trey Turner 19. That is a good Nationals card. A Diamondback, 70 base overall. Uh, I think his 2020 year is better with the Nationals. I could be wrong, though. Uh, very solid card overall. The year they won the World Series, 19 home runs, 35 stolen bases. Um, not a Blue Jay, but I can't complain about that. And I'm going to use the Black Diamond upgrade ticket now, but after some contemplating, I'm not going to use it on Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 21. I know I said I probably would, but I think I have better options because I currently have a Vlad Prime on my bench right now or in my backups waiting to be upgraded. So eventually, if I don't get his SIG, I want to get that card upgraded to Diamond with the Prime Grade Increase ticket. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Mark Icorn to Black Diamond since he is the best overall relief pitcher in the game at a 73 base. And we will roll some premium skill change tickets on him, see if we can get Bullpen Day or some good skill set. So let me do that right now. Let's take him to Black Diamond and uh, we're going to work on his skills. We have 40 premium skill change tickets. So uh, let's do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had a black diamond change ticket here. Excuse me. Did I did I not collect it from the event? I promise you guys I got this from the event unless I didn't collect it, which is kind of strange. Where did my black diamond change ticket go guys? This is where to go. Okay, it's in my inbox. All right, I've somehow missed collecting my inbox, but there is the black diamond change ticket. I know we'll have an ultimate team selective player pack for the next video, I guess. But let's do Mark Icorn to Black Diamond here. Best relief pitcher in the game, like I said. So let me speed up the video for you guys, and we will see what we end up with after we skill change him. All right, so this is what I landed on him. I got Pitcher's Insight 232, and I saw a couple of other Pitcher's Insights as well as Pitcher's Chemistry, and I think I believe I saw Control Master as well, but I've never used Pitcher's Insight. Let me know, guys, in the comment section down below what you think about Pitcher's Insight. I have never used it on any of my pitchers before, but in one green ticket, I got Fixer and Dom, so which is perfect for middle reliever. Um, I'm going to experiment with it. I'm probably going to max out Dominant Pitcher and the Pitcher's Insight skill, or I may end up maxing Fixer. I'll pick one either way. I don't know if it really matters, but uh, let me know what you guys think about this skill set. I think it will perform decently in the middle relief role. I don't want him in, to be in my setup role at the current moment because my Anthony Bass, as well as Tim Miza, have pretty good skill sets. Setup man, touch, and dom at triple three for um, him, and then winning streak setup man, in eater for Miza, not the best, but I don't know. I want your guys' opinions. Please leave them in the comment section down below. We got um this or i should actually try i should change the skill set so i can test it out silly me anyway there we go pitchers insight fixer and dominant pitchers let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like down below hit share and subscribe feel free to check out the description box down below with other mlb 9 innings youtubers they make great videos i know you guys would enjoy them and i know they would appreciate your support also feel free to check out my social media platforms down in the description box below i have instagram reddit and discord so if you want to follow me on those platforms please feel free to do so but with all that said and done that's going to be it for me today have a great rest of your guys day god bless you all jesus loves you guys i'll see you all in the next video